frankly speaking, although I am not a PPD, and I have something to show you, but uh, uh, when Garima told me that you have to come for an interaction session, I wanted to keep it open, uh, and open ended and I wanted it to be a bilateral conversation so that we can discuss about some of the current HR issues and trends and challenges, which can also help you in your upcoming placement. So that was my objective, you know, when I was thinking of coming to IIT. And if there are any inhibitions and uh, any doubts in your mind as far as HR is concerned, and there are certain topics or areas where you need more clarity in terms of uh, corporate perspectives, you know, that I can share you with. That was my thought. But uh, still, I've got a small project which I'll share with you. I'll talk about that uh, this piece on capability building. I think you would have shared the topic with them, right? So I think some expectation is there, so I'll cover that quickly. And after I cover that, I would like to have an open house where you can uh, raise your doubts. And you can ask me about uh, what is happening in the corporate world. And also if I can throw some light on what is in store for you when you enter the corporate world. I think that is going to be more helpful for you. Right? Any initial thoughts, any, uh, anything you would like to ask me to begin with? Let, let it be more so interactive, let it be free story. I mean, that would be really helpful. Okay? Because uh, I don't know how many lectures are going to be How many? You had lectures? How many, so, how many lectures can I have on that? Five. It gets boring, it you know, usually drained out. And I don't want it to sound like more of a lecture, right? So you should take away some, something from the interaction that we are having with the purpose of my new uh, can, I, can I ask uh, uh, a very, very candid question if you allow me? How many of you uh, actually operate for HR by choice? By choice. That's a very honest response. Just one second. Excellence also, the way you execute those agendas, people will eventually deliver. 
that was very clear. We, we just, uh, uh, it was only seen as a temporary phenomenon. But somewhere, you know, we saw some of the, uh, some of the work related aspects also, when, uh, like you rightly said, the quality of the exhibition was going down. Uh, people were, people started missing on timelines. Now, this is a very data heavy topic. Most of the FMC people that have come to data heavy topic. And you have to do a lot of reporting, day in and day out. Now, what happens is when you add more agendas and more items to your laundry list, the reporting eventually increases. Right? And uh, when you have to be in the field and then you also have to report it out, then you have to come to a distributed point, make reports, apply more analytics and send it out. And again, consumes a lot of time. Right? The reporting also increases. And uh, uh, so we, we, we got uh, feedback from ASMs, 